So this is the question, this is the question part. Uh, so section B about macroeconomics and the one about the business cycle. So I think most people struggle with the depth here and kind of the accuracy and precision of their answers. So I just took this sample one as just an example one to look at. Um, it starts kind of well. So it starts with a diagram at the top, and I think most people's diagrams could have been a little bit more tidier and more precise, but essentially, so recovery, boom, recession, trough, recovery. So some idea of contraction and expansion, so generally like an expansion, boom, recession, trough, recovery. That's okay. A line going across to show the trend, time on one axis and real GDP. So it could be there, but a bit more tidy. So once you mention the, the thing, the diagram, then you all step through trying to explain things. Um, so this student was the same. So a recovery occurs after the trough and before a boom. Essentially, you're going through and explaining the different economic indicators. The things to always, in macroeconomics, the indicators are things like this. So GDP percentage growth. So that's one of the things that nearly everybody mentioned in different places. The other one would be things like unemployment. You can think in your head. The other ones could be to do with inflation. Those are the three ones that generally most people talked about. The ones that people didn't talk about too much was consumer confidence. Um, and then ultimately, maybe what some people talked about, what governments do because of these things. So they could do things like interest rates, which is what we know as monetary policy, or it could be to do with government spending. So I wasn't expecting four things for each of the different phases. So... For the recovery, for instance, I wasn't expecting all four of these things, but across the different answers, I expected to see sort of a breadth of understanding of these different indicators. Um, examples were the one that generally everyone struggled with. So a couple of people pulled up examples of countries they knew of. So they pulled up countries like, say, Greece, um, you know, in 2012, talking about its recession, defining that a recession is too... Um, subsequent quarters of declining economic growth, um, two subsequent quarters. Um, other countries in a boom, so you talk about maybe you talk about Singapore being in a boom, with um, as an example of a country, where you could talk about post the global financial crisis as being countries. Um, so anything that can example, that was a bit hard, but I think that was kind of what we were expecting to see, to get more than kind of an ain't. But generally, these kind of terms are really good. So terminology like dis disinflation, deflation, consumer confidence, um, uh, the ideas of bubbles, investment, those are all excellent phrases that you kind of wanted to see through these questions and interest rates being an incentive. So those kind of, that could be an idea of the breadth of the question we're looking for for this part.